verse that I've seen prevail over my life is um, Psalm 63. And that whole chapter is really good. But um, in the beginning it says, Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul faints for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Growing up, I was really unhappy at school mostly, and then like coming home to like, you know, parents fighting and coming home to see my dad drinking or see him, you know, upset and like really angry and really miserable. I started going to higher ground and, you know, hearing the word of God for the first time and just the leaders there that just loved on us and like, oh, they have this thing and I don't have it and they're happy and I'm not and uh, I just remember like going back to my leaders at higher ground and like I don't get like this is happening in my life and I don't understand what I can do to fix it. and they're like well you you can't you know like you just got to trust God and you got to give it to him I went to winter camp in eighth grade and um, I gave everything to God and then Trusting God was the biggest struggle of my life. Not only God, but like people too. Like for the first time in my life, like I wanted to trust something, you know, and I did. I felt really convicted to just continue to pray and um, God really did change my dad and changed his heart and changed his life. And by changing his life changed my life, my sister's life, my mom's life, you know. It's just, I feel like it's a really crucial time in people's lives and in kids' lives is those junior high years because you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going. For me, I was going through a lot when I was in junior high and um, I had a lot of leaders you know, work with me and help me and um, I want to be able to do that for other kids and I want to, you know, do a full circle type thing where, you know, I'm serving these kids 